What's going on there YouTube? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Superheroes steel figure. Um, yeah, this guy is probably one of the best DC superhero figures that we've gotten. Um, I would say he's right on par with that Batman and right on par with <laughs> the DC superhero Superman which is also seen as the best Superman figure I think to date um, yeah so I mean pretty much uh, those DC superhero figures back then I mean they really really nailed everybody's look um, well not everybody's but um, I feel like Mongol could have been better bigger not better but bigger um, but uh, they really nailed if, if if they nailed a figure they really nailed a figure like this is absolutely perfect figure I think perfect John Henry Irons um, they really really just uh, <laughs> I mean they, I don't even think this, this figure was never even re-released it was just um, it was only available in DC uh Superheroes line, so that's about it. Um, like, uh, like they reused the uh, Batman body um, a few times. Um, I think they reused it uh, a couple times in the DC Superheroes line, but they also re-released it in the Batman Legacy line as the modern Batman, just the body buck, uh, with it came with a different head, obviously. But um, yeah really great and I'm surprised that we, they never even re-released this guy because he's a, just an awesome figure he's got tons of detail and uh, really great paint and um, there's actually two versions of him there was this is the chrome variant um, there is also a uh, metallic um, or silver version I should say um, where his chest symbol right here isn't so shiny <clears throat> um, I got this guy ten dollars. Uh, I got a really great deal on him. I got him for ten bucks through a friend, and um, I'm super happy. I mean, he's a little bit. Um, he's not absolutely 100% perfect, but I only spent ten dollars on him, and this guy usually goes for thirty to forty dollars now on eBay. So, and I'm not really willing to spend thirty or forty dollars on one figure um, unless it's like a. a crazy bust or a statue or something like that because then you know it's worth the money but um yeah this guy still is very nicely done um you know there's a little bit of wear right here um it looks like something was uh maybe chewing this i don't know what was going on with that um but it just looks like it's been handled before so um i'm just glad to have the figure and yeah, so I mean, I can uh, I can always repair this. That's not a big deal. Um, what else? I don't think there's anything really else. There's some a couple marks on the uh, thigh here, as you can see, um, right there. A little bit of paint wear, but I mean, I'm only gonna have this guy pose. I'm not gonna be you know throwing him up against a wall. So um, yeah, so definitely excited to have this guy. He looks really great. Um, he comes with his hammer here. Let me get his hammer out of his hand. Come on, John. Come on, John. There we go. Um, his hammer is actually kind of like a rubbery plastic uh, material, so it just bounces. I'm surprised it's not a... Uh, it's actually pretty nice because um, I was expecting just a hollowed out piece of plastic, and this is a uh, fully thick piece of plastic so it's pretty nice it's like a little order in the court order order in this court sorry but um, it does have some nice detail on it and it looks good um, bringing him in let's get to his articulation here his head does move left and right. It's a little bit hindered by the cape, but nothing too crazy. His head does look up about that far. It does look down very nicely. 
and uh, his arms do move up. This is um, like a, a, a movable plastic, so it's pliable and you can move it up, so it doesn't hinder the arm too much, but his arm does go up about that far, goes down. Can't do a full 360. Um, it does have a bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, wrist rotation. He does have an ab crunch, and his waist swivel is a little tight. There we go. Does have a waist swivel, T-jointed hips. Go out. Oh boy, he's uh, yeah, he's a little frozen. Uh, forward and back. He does have an upper thigh swivel, single bend at the knee, and ankle hinge going forward and back. And he does have a little bit of a wobble in his ankle, kind of like a pivot. Um, both do have this wobble, so I'm assuming that that's how the figure was made to be like that. So there you go. Um, yeah, I definitely chose the chrome version because I just think, you know, it's steel and, you know, I want him to look like, you know, very metallic and he should be shiny if he's all, is it's a, it's a suit, of a steel suit. So, um, <laughs> so I just think it looks a little bit better. I mean, it's personal preference, completely personal preference, but um, yeah, looks great. I like the uh, nice chromed out chromed out grill but um, the cape has tons of shading in there and it looks very well done and uh, just got shading on the side here in the, the cracks on the back over on the side and I really like how it uh, goes over his shoulders now um, uh, a lot of DC Universe classics sometimes really get it wrong with um, when the cape goes over the shoulder but this they did a very well very, very well. Very good job of doing that. Uh, much like his counterpart, the um, Superman from the DC Superheroes line. Um, I really liked how that cape fit into his uh, his suit. It looks really great. I like how it uh, kind of, uh, I guess, bunches in here. It looks good. But uh, yeah, he does have lots of detail. Definitely a really great figure. Let me get in a close up here on his face. Um, there's definitely a lot of shading on his head to give that metallic, worn feel, kind of like he's been wearing it for a while or it was forged in uh, fire and <laughs> looks good. Looks really good. Lots of detail, loads of detail on this guy. Um, his boots came out really nicely. So, yeah, definitely awesome, amazing job at this, Mattel. You did a fantastic job on this. Steel looks great. He's probably one of my favorite figures now, to be honest with you. And I'm actually mad at myself for waiting this long to finally get him. Um, but, I mean, the prices on him were just bananas. <laughs> Just bananas, and uh, but he does look great. I am definitely going to give him. Um, I mean, mine's a little warm because it's used, but that's that's basically <laughs> because he's used. Um, if this guy was in mint condition, I'm going to give this guy a a 10 out of 10. I think he's absolutely perfect. He nails everything. He's got all the detail that you want. He's got the paint apps that you want. He's got the sculpting that you want. Um, beautiful cape, um, very nice uh, hammer here, very well sculpted. Um, it nails the character, and if you if you get all those things, that's a perfect figure. I think this is one one of the perfect figures that you should go out and really grab. And with that being said, that's going to conclude my review here of Mr. John Henry Iron Steel from the DC Superheroes line. Um, yeah, two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. Go pick him up. Try and find him for a good price, so don't overpay for him. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the flip side.